Um, and I'm not going to use it as a conventional curling iron. I'm actually going to use it as a curling stick. Oh. Um, in the sense of not using, well, I'll show you both ways. Um, not necessarily using the clamp so much. Okay. Um, Which is the way I think most of us use it. Most of us know how to use it as a clamp and you use it as a ringlet and yep, you, you, exactly you know, right. just curl it. Mm -hmm. The look that everybody has right now, which is that kind of that loose, beachy, messy mm -hmm. wave, mm -hmm. is not necessarily a conventional curl. So everyone says, oh, I want that curl, but no one knows how to get it. So I'm. this is a one inch curling iron. You okay. can do this with any size iron um, that, that, you know, that you have on hand or if you're going to purchase one. I may actually get, if you were going to purchase one, I would probably get a one and a half inch because it's a little bit more versatile. Okay. Um, the smaller the iron, the smaller the curl. Um, so again, because I did this curl away from our face, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to spray this section, a little bit more product, so we ensure this is going to hold. We want this to hold today. Definitely. <laughs> um, this is definitely a great thing to take your hair if you've been working all day and you're going out at night and you want to look a little different, spruce yep. up your look. Yep. Just, you know... Just give it a, a curl something. and we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so I'm going to put the um, curling iron onto the, sh the hair shaft, mm -hmm. the section that you have. Yep. And I'm essentially wrapping the hair around mm -hmm. the iron. Okay. So you're not clamping anything right now? There's not nothing. clamping anything. Okay. And you do want to hold on to the, the tail of your hair. Yep. And you want to be careful that you don't burn, burn your yourself. <laughs> and I want to hold to it there for about 10 seconds. You can count... Or um, sometimes I can just you can feel the heat through the outside of the mm -hmm. the hair, and then you're ready. So this gives you, as you can see, a little less of a conventional curl versus if I did a regular mm -hmm. the regular corkscrew curl that all of us are used to doing with clamping this on and winding it. You'll see the difference in the curl. Is the timing the same, around 10 seconds? About 10 seconds. Um, because I'm using product, again, you will see the steam. That's yep. from the heat heating up the, the liquid. Not the hair. <laughs> not the hair. And in creating that hold that you actually So it's want. really important for you still to have a base product with curling, just like flat ironing. Right. So you'll see the difference, the conventional curl versus a, t a twisting, wrapping version or the flat iron version. Now, is there ever a style you see out there where people might be using a combination of these, or do people tend to stay with one? Sure. I absolutely think that um, right now there's so many irons on the market okay. that people are definitely alternating, and you can get some really amazing looks like that. Um, you just, you know, you have to just kind of play with it. So if you wanted to get a, a curly look where you had multiple, look like a lot of different mm -hmm. curls and shapes in there, what you would do is the same thing, but you would alternate iron sizes. So you could use some flat iron, you could use some of this iron, you could use um, a wider barrel. A wider or... barrel, mm -hmm. and that will just give you different curl shapes. Now, what about somebody like me who has Zachary, who's three, who might want to wear this out in the morning, but I've got maybe 25 minutes to do my hair and makeup. Is there a certain parts of, the, of my hair, like places that you would say curl here, here, and here to give you an overall look, which doesn't take too long? Yes, I would definitely recommend the front sections. Okay. And maybe instead of taking um, smaller sections with a small iron, okay. you take bigger sections with a small iron. Okay. And that will allow you to have that kind of beachy, messy look mm -hmm. without having it be perfect. Okay. Now, would I wear it out to a function like that? No. But you're going to get the gist that somebody is, you know, kind of, you know, sprucing up their sure. everyday look. Yeah. Cut rollers can also be um, a, good, a good kind of trick to give you... If you're, you know, trying to get a shampoo to last a second or third okay. day, um, you know, throw some Velcro roller, I mean, some hot rollers in there, again, setting them away from your face, and, um, and just remember, sometimes people are afraid of um, hot rollers because they give you too, many, too much bounce, mm -hmm. so if you're setting um, hot rollers flat on your head, you're going to get more curl at the bottom. Okay. If, you're curl, if you're setting them on top of your head, you're going to get more volume. Got it. So just keep in just keep in mind the way you set them is the way they're gonna okay. come out. Now I have fairly straight hair to begin with. What about someone who has curly hair to begin with, who either wants to straighten or who wants more of a looser wave? Is there anything a different step they would take, or is it the same exact process? They would take um, a similar step because even though people have curly hair, they're still smoothing out their curl and okay. changing the curl formation. Okay. So they could use a bigger curling iron okay. uh, with the exact same steps, exact same product. 
Um, and if they had curly hair, I would recommend um, trying to smooth out some of the fuzz, you know, around their hairline. Yep. Um, maybe on top, maybe with a flat iron or just a blow, regular second day hair mm -hmm. from blow drying the first day, wearing it in a ponytail. I mean, everyone has their tricks. Yep. Um, but that is probably just as important for them if they want to, you know. Okay. Curly hair can be boring sometimes if so. If they wanted to change their look, this is a great thing for them too. Okay. So how do we finish this? So I'm going to use the Shine Serum um, again and kind of smooth out um, the curls. Um, obviously, with the product that I use, they are a little bit crunchy. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just going to break up that product, I'm still locking the curls in. And this is just going to give it a little bit more of a, um, a finished look. Now, you can do a lot of different things with this. You could leave it the way it is and kind of have it look separated. You can blend them together. So I'm kind of using my fingers just to kind of finger them out and um, kind of incorporate some of the girls to Kevin to okay. together so it looks a little softer, a little more finished. Yep. Um, you can definitely, you know, give you some, yourself some volume on top. Um, you can use a brush to give it a little bit more softer look. And I'm sure some people use a combination of all these things to get that sort of celebrity ready hair. There's probably no no perfect solution here. No, every, it's definitely personal preference. I okay. think everybody you know uses different things. Um, and also remember that the length of your hair is going to change the way this looks. So okay. if you have shorter hair, like if I was going to do this on my hair, it would look curlier than it is on yours. Got it. And you know um, a lot of slubs that we see have long hair, really and so long. we don't get the really that long beachy effect yep. because their hair we don't have hair down to here. Exactly. So um, this is the effect that we're going to get, and it doesn't look perfect. It doesn't look we spent hours, even though we spent probably more time than we had. Um, but you kind of have that not so plain, a little bit more exciting mm -hmm. look. And of course, if you're going to make this last all night, you want to make sure that you use some finishing spray um, to kind of put the, your hair in place and make sure we smooth, smooth all those flyaways out to make it look finished and polished after all the time we just spent.